That music always just gets me dancing, and this stuff dances. This is called Slinky, and look how it stretches and comes back. That's why it's Slinky. It is my favorite fabric, and we're going to show you and tell you today all the secrets you need to know and maybe we're afraid to ask. And to help me is my friend Joan, and you are the queen of Slinky for sure. Thank you, Linda, and I feel like the queen when I wear Slinky. Exactly, it because... It just hides all your faults. Well, or what you perceive to be false. Perhaps. Right? Yeah. It's easy to sew with. It's easy to manipulate. It, you pack it up in a little scrunch ball. You can unpack it. Doesn't it look, wrinkle. doesn't wrinkle. When you want to have something, that feeling of floating and light and having nothing on, it makes wonderful sleeping garments. Actually, you do have a nighty in sleeping, I do, yes. and I love it because it's so cool and comfortable. Yeah, it breathes, and the good slinky breathes. If it's acetate, which is what I use all the time, it is a breathable fabric, so it's uh, there's none of this hot flash business. That's no, not, there's that's, not. No. And I think the other nice thing about it is there's so many ways that you can finish it that depending or on... not finish it. <laughs> True, but the amount of time that you have will depend on how much time you take on those little extras at the end to sure, finish it. Sure, sure. But it is absolutely one of my favorite fabrics, right from pants to sleeping well, wear. I guess the other thing, or the mainly, or one big thing that I say, whenever I wear it, people say, Oh, you've lost weight. <laughs> oh, music, music. You haven't lost weight, but, well, you actually have, but, but I haven't. And they, you know, they think I've lost weight. I so think it's because it. It hangs from the spot in your body that's the widest. That's the widest. Yeah, and it just kind of, yeah. So as long as you have that to fit yeah, properly, yeah. it just hides the rest. So let's talk about what you might want to make. And I do have my models oh, all right. standing ready to go. So let's show you what it could look like. So I think it's so neat to make your slinky outfit and then, of course, take some of the pieces, scraps, and put them into the jacket. Of so course. that's what we had to do. So we've got that jacket. So we take off the jacket. And we've got a top called the BLT. And I call this the BLT. I've got on the BLT as well as this. Right. But the BLT is the best of Linda's tops. That's why it's BLT. And oh. I like BLTs anyway. So right, I know. Yeah. It's one of your favorite So dinners. there we go. And it just crosses across like this. And it's got actually two layers here. The other one we've actually just ruffled. But we've also got kind of a fun skirt. And can I show you the skirt? Can I just get in there? and? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. It will fit you over a long period of time. Yes, or through dinner. That's right. Please. Very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, no hem on the bottom. I mean, yeah. this is just ruffled. It really does not have to be oh, hemmed. So just ruffled. We'll show you how to do All that. All right. Yeah. I like that. Okay. And that's basically the BLT and the gourd skirt. Looks very and it's nice. Just becoming. And, of course, a little bit of a rose at the neckline is a nice little finish. All right. Then there's this. And I've also got one of these on. This is the jacket that I've got right. on. You can tie it or let it just hang straight. But what it is, is basically, I call it the awesome jacket. The almost world's easiest. It's all one piece. Oh, right. There's no side so seam. So you put the shoulder seam, you sew that up, you put the sleeve in, sew it around, and you're talking done. Well, we and would be pretty quick, 20 minutes, that I'm sure. That would be it. This could either be a top or a dress, and I think it's the same one that you've yes, got on. Yes, it is. It's just got a little cap sleeve, so you're going to sew the shoulder, the underarm, this is my favorite, absolute favorite neckline because you can see it's a raw edge and now it's a finished edge. You just oh, tuck it in. Oh, very, very so smart. So that's a good one. These pants are great fun because no side seam. Well, and I have so those on as well. The those no are so quick. They are. Instant, instant. So very that nice. is a great little outfit. So Thank again, you. Person I like that needs one. two or three, just mix and match. And the basic color is nice because you can do so much. Yes, you can. So here's one called layers. And I do firmly believe that you can layer slinky. I know. Okay, you're right. I have other layers of my own, but yes. okay. Okay, layer being top, layer being skirt, skirt, layer being another skirt, and the third skirt. So one color, many colors. Many colors, you see, put one over top of the other. You can right. wear those two together. You can wear these three together. In fact, it might be interesting to show that we just didn't put a whole bunch of thick elastic okay. in there. Okay. This is like lingerie elastic. Just right, because that. otherwise you'd have three or four. That's, that's what was worrying you. I yes, think. I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, that would be sort of so extra. So then we had a scrap left over and that became the belt. And again, the same finish with the, um, with that ruffled, the hem. ruffled hem. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So then I'll say what I've got on is I've got on the culottes and you can wear them with, with boots if you want. Or right. you can have them shorter. You could have them full length. Some people do the full length. So they're quite fun. Just elastic waist. I've got the BLT okay. under my awesome jacket that I've just tied, and you've got the no side seam I've pants. I've got the no side seam pants, and I have the the classic dress just made as a top. As a top, yeah. I didn't hem the bottom. Oh, I've, Joan, you I've didn't hem. There's no hem police, though, you know I that. know, but I felt so badly not hemming it. I did finish the neckline, yeah. and 
I know this isn't slinky, but it's, of course, the, the he, jump. she shirt, oh, yeah. which is my all-time yeah. favorite. All-time favorite, yes. Sure. All right, here's another one. And this is, I love, I love these oh, pants. Yeah. So if you look at the pants, they just kind of, they're fuller at the bottom, not too full. Right. But they're called party pants. Oh, and, and I like the little sassy slit. Yes, the little sassy slit just sort of gives it. Yes. Great look. So we, of course, made the jacket to match with the scraps of the fabric. And the know. slinky is, of course, incorporated into the jacket into the as jacket, well. Yeah. yeah. And this is a little top called the Model T, and it's just a great little T-shirt because it's just, um, you can do whatever neckline you want, whatever way you want to do it's that. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, Very nice so finish. there you go. You can take that one. Here is the top that you've got on made long. Right. And I would just say this dawned on us one day. Why don't we just make a full dress out of it? It's a T-shirt made into a dress. Perfect. Same what neckline, a, same everything. Beautiful that pattern for a nighty too. Yes, it actually could be quite we a fine nighty. easily so, do the yeah. nighty. So there you go. Of course, we did the Christmas jacket to match. I love that. I love the color of the slinky. It picks up the light so nicely. Yes, it does. It really does. Okay, we'll finish off with just one more. And here's the BLT done in sleeveless. Oh, yeah, it's kind of fun very attractive. This. So there it is. And then the culottes made longer. So you can have them full length. You can have whatever Almost you Almost like a skirt. So, okay, you know that we do lots and lots of things. All right, I'm ready. All right, so let us talk about this BLT because I guess of all the people or all the things that I get asked about often, it's, it's how do you sew slinky, what are the secrets, and what is your favorite? My well, current favorite is this one. BLT, yeah, that I can tell. And it's a bit of an IQ test, so that's why I want to do okay. it. So it's got a back, right, and it's got two fronts. And we decided, the one I've got on is all black, but we decided to actually cut two fronts of different colors. Okay. So it's kind of fun to think one red and one black. One black, okay. So the weird thing is, is this, is, this is the shape, and that is the back of the neck. Here's your shoulder. Okay. So it's just, you're, you haven't done this yet, but you're working no. on it. Okay. There, you're going to... Stay stitch along that and slash right. it because center back to center back. So there is center back. Right. I better get my glasses on here, Joan. So there we go. And we're going to stitch along here. And the back neck. Bring that up to that point. Right. And stitch there and stitch there and across there. Then this one is going to go across same. there. The same. Okay. Yeah. So that is our first stitch. Actually, we didn't, we didn't clip that one. Oh, I could do that very quickly here. Yeah. There we go. Well, so clip to your stitching. Carefully. Yes, not through your stitching. Okay, so that'll go up to there. Okay, then now is the easy part. Once you've got that done, you can sort of say, okay, now how's this going to work? We've got this piece of your front. Right. And there's just one little trick here, and this is the way the pattern was cut. It's kind of a funny little jaw. It looks like you might have made a mistake. Yeah, but you just flatten that out. And stitch it. And now we're going to take this. This is the shoulder. This is going to go across to that other side, but it's folded. So that's going to go to there. And this is going to go to here. Okay, and then the same on this side. You got it. So here you go. And this thing is going to be turned back. So there it is already turned back. So this is going to go to here. And this side. And that's going to go to there. So then you sew both sides. Got it. And that will give you that crossover effect. Okay. I haven't worried about which side crosses over which. No. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And you'll see we did it in two colors. So we've got a black sleeve and, and a, red a red sleeve, sleeve or the red sleeve over here, whatever. Well, they I would were... put it on and decide right. which way. Okay. And then we're going to hem these separately because when you hem this thing, when you've got all these layers underneath mm -hmm. here, you really don't want to hem them together. So you're going to just slash the underneath one. Just a little bit? Yeah, just cut it off because okay. it doesn't need to show, and then you just hem one layer. Got to. Okay. So that's, that's quite a simple thing to do. So this is actually the finished one. So here's what it looks like. This is going to be sewn there, sewn there. Flip it inside, and now we have it all. And that big seam at the neck gives us the cowled... Yes, that's going to drape drape down the front. Let's just okay. talk a little bit about necklines. Um, we didn't talk about a right and wrong side to this. No. Um, and there really is... If you, as long as you decide which it is, decide which it is first. Right. And sometimes you can see a little bit more on one side mm -hmm. or the other. There is a nap to slinky, and I think some people don't always go with that either. I You're know, sure I don't. No, I know, but, and I don't usually go with it either, but there is a real nap. So right. if you do want to cut them all the same way, that's a good okay. idea. Uh, put a little piece of uh, interfacing, a fusible knit interfacing right, right in that here. neckline, and then put the slinky on just as it were a piece of ribbing and cross them over, and then you've got that neckline. You've got just your plain round one. But the easiest one in the world, Joan, is this finish. And this could be done around a neckline. This could be done around a hem. Uh, this could be done around my necklace. You'll come over to your serger and you'll do the rolled hem. All right. And you'll just stretch the dickens out of that. 
I can do that. Yeah. So there is. And bring that off. Do you want to just sew right off the edge? Sure. Here we go. Right, right there. Thank you. There we go. And here's what we've got. And it's all kinky and fun, and it just goes, looks so good. Very attractive with a different color thread, too. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you, Joan. This has been great Thank fun. You. Anytime, Linda. Great. And I hope that you're not afraid of sewing a slinky anymore, and I hope you'll just go ahead and sew up a whole bunch. But don't go away right yet, because we've got more good stuff coming up. Guests of our show stay at Travel Lodge. Nice rooms, great people. Models provided by Chan International. Number one in personal development training, modeling, and acting. Places to be, and one of my favorite things to do is to come to a sewing show, sewing slash fiber arts, because this is where all the creative people are, and I meet so many interesting people. And one of those that would qualify is Eugene Bourgeois. It's no, great no, to no, talk. No, yes, no. yes, you. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how did this whole philosopher's wool? You're bedecked in the. Tell me, how did it all begin? That nice. You you love to knit, is that? I it? do, I do, but that's not how it began. Okay, how did it begin? I got. Well, and learned to knit. Your, your my wife, yeah. my wife, okay. yeah. And I have a sheep farm, okay. so I thought, wow, this is terrific. I've, I've grown, got all this wool. I've right got all that. this wool. Yeah, just it's just everywhere, okay. you know. And and I got the sheep farm. I can. So, she's, so I'm going to sell my wool, and, okay. and I'm going to get a fortune for it because okay. I bought yarn for her. Yes. Right. Yes. yes and you okay. know, it costs a million dollars. Yes. Yes. So I think this sounds good. So I went down and I sold my wool to the marketplace, and then I topped the market that day with my lambs in Toronto. Mm -hmm. So I thought, wow, okay, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, this I'm is going to be your life. This, no, 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 not at all. No. I'm going to buy yarn for Anne to knit. Okay. Because she was busy spinning my dorset wool. Okay. Oh, now, I, I don't know. Have you ever spun? I, I don't know. Maybe nobody here has spun, but you spin and spin oh, yeah. and, no, and spin, spin and spin and spin. It's a lovely therapeutic thing to do. And spin and spin and spin and spin and spin. And you've got enough wool to knit two stitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then you go back. And okay, so I okay. bought two hundred dollars worth of yarn for okay, Anne because okay. I got a twenty percent discount. Okay. But just a minute, you've got a whole bunch of people involved. Isn't that what happened? Isn't it, when this thing sort of evolved? I mean, this is what sparked it. But then where did it where to go? Like, didn't you get a whole bunch of other people I to have, do this? I, well, I have, I have about, uh, yes, I do. I buy wool from 200 farmers now. Okay. I have the wool washed in Texas, oh, spun I and like dyed, okay. spun and dyed at six so mills. So then made Across a North America, we, we've got 40 ladies that who knit for us. Okay. And, okay. and we've got a cottage business. My wife and I design sweaters. Um, I buy 5% of Ontario's fleece. I've okay. transformed the market for farmers. Instead of getting 10 cents a pound for wool, which we normally get and yeah. we get currently, okay. I pay an average of $2 a pound okay. to farmers for doing this. Okay, because it and isn't easy work. And it, you do deserve. I mean, Me? Well, all of, I, all of never the farmers worked. who have... I've never worked. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know that. All of the farmers that make the do sheep, isn't that a wonderful thing? So it's, they, it's Yes, a, they... It's a, well, no, and I think... I think if we do nothing else on this planet, yes. what we need to do is to find ways to enrich our neighbors and, work and, and to work together yes. and to and to pay farmers yes. to produce the very sacred foods that we eat and need. Here, here. Don't that is a think? wonderful thing to end on. You know, that is a perfect, perfect statement, and I think that you're very right. I've got to go and talk to your wife because we've got to find out what she does with this yarn. All right, Anne. Um, some husbands come home with some some different things, but you say your husband brought all this wool, like yarn. Enough for 20 sweaters. And did you know how to knit before that? Just. 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 I'd started learning to knit in Scotland when I was on a teaching exchange. And okay. all the teachers knit at recess, which is unheard of here. Okay. They had a sweater at the end of the week. I yeah. didn't, so yeah. I learned to knit. Okay. And everyone was knitting Icelandic sweaters. And okay. they had these great... They're classics. Cute. I mean, they're classics. Yeah. But everything I was doing was wrong. Mine was puckered. My wool was tangled. The sweater didn't fit. Okay. Oh, dear. This is almost divorce time. He's got all this yeah. wool and you yeah. can't figure it out. So, so yeah. I had to work out a system. I'm a systems yeah. person. I sure. was happy to do it. Sure. So we gradually designed our own 
own sweaters. We needed a niche market to market our wool. Yep. yep. And what I like doing was Fair Isle. Do you okay. know what Fair Isle is? No, tell me about this Fair Isle. So this Fair is what Isle you're doing? only ever uses two colors in a row. Okay. And you can put the two colors I worked out on both hands. Okay. One hand knits European Sorry, American or English style. Yeah, okay. And the other hand hooks it through European style. Oh, I like that because I've seen people knit both ways yeah. and you've got them you both. Both simultaneously. So Very good for your brain. You're developing the other side oh, of your brain. Oh, this is good to keep oh. your brain active. Yeah, yeah this is Very, good. Very okay. good. Yeah, yeah. So um, if I need to carry one color for a long time, I knit it and then go under the other color so that I'm actually weaving along. It sounds a bit complicated, uh, but it, there is a system for this. Like you have patterns that tell you how many of this color and how many of usually, that color. Usually, most of our sweaters have patterns. This has no pattern whatsoever. It's just random, random. Okay. Ra and of course, from sweaters, you've vulnerable. gone to, we've got videos, you've got books. What other kinds of things have you done? Lately, we've been doing children's sweaters. Okay. Little baby things and these dishcloths, huge oh, dishcloths. Really? Yeah, no, 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 I, I can imagine. Okay. We've got lots of them. And you've got, of course, you wear your, your goods all the time. Yes. Okay. I'm cold-blooded. I need Okay. It. This is fascinating. Well, Thank you so much, Anne. This it's is fun talking to you. You might get me knitting. down for once. Yes, you might get me knitting now. Great. Thank That'll you so much. That's great. Thank you, Linda. idea of being able to sew through plastic, make a purse like this. If I can dream it, I can make it. If I want to make something from metal, I could probably do it. I just love the idea of stretching those borders and bounds and being able to make what I want. So I want machinery and stuff that's going to help me do that. And to help me do that is Debbie, and I'm glad to have you. Um, you've done all this kind of stuff, and you've obviously stretched the boundaries. So what do you think is the secret to it? Playing. Playing and a sense of adventure. Okay, okay. Because there's no rules. Point. Isn't that right? There's no rules. There's and no boundaries. <laughs> that is that is obvious in something like this. You have done this scrapbook, and I think you've done all kinds of foolishness. It's just pure <laughs> foolishness. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just magnificent. So I do so often jackets that I wear. So just the fact that a jacket has to go on your body, there are some limitations to mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But when you do pure art... There are absolutely no limits, as far as I can see, and I mean that is just fantastic. So, what tools do we need? Can I can I sew through all of this stuff with every sewing machine going, or can I take? What do I need? Well, you just need some basics, really. Okay. Um, starting with your sewing machine needles. Okay. We're so used to buying just our collection of universals. Mm -hmm. But they can't necessarily take us all the places that we want to go. Right. So invest in getting a variety of needles. Okay. Start building up your toolbox with something as simple as a variety of needles. Okay, so thicker ones and thinner ones mm -hmm. and um, stretch ones maybe and all those kinds of Embroidery, things. Embroidery, metallic, twin. There's okay. all sorts out there. I'm sure. I know there's a whole world of needles for sure. Yep. Okay, uh, so I've got needles and threads. I mean... <laughs> The threads, what's happened in this whole field of fiber art is that the threads have just become amazing. So and they're, they're another great tool to have that you build up in your stash. Okay, so you collect that too. You do. Okay. You, of course, you've got your fibers. What about your sewing machine feet? Okay. Sewing machine feet. I mean, there is another topic. I mean, people, well, I collect shoes, you collect feet, obviously. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, there's just a lot of feet. And a lot of today's machines come with a wide variety of feet that we ignore, we never use. Well, I think some people get scared away from all those feet, and I think it would be a good exercise to sit down and try all those feet. But if you could only have, let's just make it simple, if you had two feet in your life, which, would, which ones would they be? Hmm, two feet. Well, well I love free motion, okay. so I would have to say my free motion foot... First it, that I just think, to me, that's the one that I want for sure. I mean, that is a fantastic foot. It allows you absolute freedom. So, so everybody should have free motion foot for sure. So any image you want to stitch, you can do with your free motion. But any material you want to stitch, that's a different question. Okay. For that, I need a walking foot. A walking foot. A fabulous, reliable walking foot. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't have all the rest and you could play, but if you're just sort of starting out and you want to just say, okay, what do I really need? Mm -hmm. Those two, are, to me, would be the most important ones as well. I'm glad you, you mentioned them. They can take so you very far. So they can take you through thickness, 
thick and thin? The, the Paper, leather. Okay, okay. So, which one should we talk about first? Let's talk about the walking, if you don't mind. Then. Okay. So, is that what you would have used on something like this? To get something like a like the crumpled leather paper through, yes, you need the walking foot because to be able to because your feed dogs they lift and pull from the bottom okay. and bring your materials okay. through so your machine. Your walking foot gives yes. extra support. Okay, so I'm just going to say we'll have to go over and see it, but then again, walking foot would have been used here. Where did you use free motion? Have we got free? Oh, I bet here or here. Where did you? Oh, this looks yes. like free motion here. Mm -hmm. So there's free motion, and that's why you writing, want that old writing. Ripples in the water. Okay, mm -hmm. things like that. That would be a great place. By the way, as I see this, I see what is the deal with this? This is kind of fascinates me. That's a circle stitching foot. So that you can go round and round in circles. Just go round and round and play with your patterns again. Oh, that is kind of neat. When I wouldn't say that's my most important one, but that is kind of a neat. Kind one. of fun to have and pull out once so in a while. So can we go over to the machine and you sure. can start sewing maybe some plastic and, and showing me why? Okay. Okay. So you've got it all set up here, but actually this machine comes with it, doesn't it? You don't have to do it. It does. It's got a built-in walking yeah. foot that's nice and big. It's probably three or four times the surface area of a normal foot. Okay. Okay. So it's going to give you lots of grab for something like plastic, which can be really tricky to put through your machine. And the feed dogs from the top, that's really the whole key to the thing. Mm -hmm. and, and it feeds it through the top and the bottom. So, yeah, I think that is a brilliant thing. So, And it's just going to keep motoring through. Walking through, that's what it should do. And that's what I think is so fun about the sewing, is if I want to do it, I want my machine to come with me. I don't want to have to... So do you know, Debbie, we're going to have to then stop this one because I want you to put the free motion foot on. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. Great. So we'll be right back with the free motion foot. So it took a minute to just change to the free motion foot, but this is a beauty. And now we're sewing metal, which tickles me as well. And it's just back and forth, isn't it? It is. Wherever you want to go and however far you want to go. We're just stretching our limits, building our toolbox. I love it, I love it. You know we're out of time, Debbie, so thanks so much for coming. Join us again next time, and we'll have lots of fun all over again. To receive the companion book for this series with all of the project details, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call one mcphee or visit us on the web at www.mcphee-workshop.com. Sponsored in part by Genomi. Quality sewing machines since 1921. And by Rowenta, the garment care experts, meeting the needs of the sewing enthusiasts for over 100 years with high-performance irons, steamers, steam generators, and ironing boards. And Wonderfill Specialty Threads. Thread for the way you sew. And by the Woolen Mill Store, your source for quality fabrics and more, featuring the largest selection of wool and wool blend. Yardage from Pendleton Woolen Mills. And by Horn of America. Experience quality, innovative ideas, and customer service. And Creative Festival. Bursting at the seams with hundreds of industry experts, conference classes, exhibits, and more. Experience creativity in the making.